Hey Cancers, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, if you are new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. I hope that you hit that subscribe button and join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you here, a part of the All Cancerian family. I'm a Cancer. I cater to the Cancers here on the Cancerian Vibe. So make sure you hit your notification bell because every time I upload, it's going to be for Cancer. Um, if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, these readings on the channel can resonate for you. So that's Cancer anywhere in your chart, you guys. Um, I do also have a main tarot channel where I take care of all 12 zodiac signs, Boss Lady B Tarot, which I'll drop in the eye so you can quickly just um, click over and join me over there as well. I do do separate readings for Cancer um, over there. And you guys, I have already posted a weekly reading for Cancer over on that channel. I do still plan to do a weekly reading for this channel. We're going to see what happens. Um but I wanted to come on. It's the last day of July, you guys. So I wanted to come on and kind of look at the energies for August, see what's going on with Cancer in August, what's the things going on. Let's just be nosy, okay? So, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Um, check out the description box for all the important information that you're going to want to know, how to book a personal reading with me, how to connect with me on social media, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so... We're just going to hop right into it. I'm going to pull a couple from this deck. Just see what's, what's coming for Cancer in August. What does Cancer need to know? What's the energy surrounding Cancer? Look, okay, that was just it's a lot going on here. But look at that. <laughs> Door to Romance popping out, making sure it's seen. Um, give me messages for Cancer. What can Cancer expect for August? 2021. Ooh, cancer. <laughs> I love it. Cornucopia. Cornucopia. First thing out, the number 11, y'all. And so you may be seeing 1111 11 too. Um, if you're catching 1111, 11, <clears throat> you know, pay attention to your thoughts and how you feel when you see that number. I know a lot of people like to ask you know, like, what do the angel numbers mean? It can mean different things for different people. So you really have to kind of trust your intuition. But if you've been seeing 1111, I feel like it's clear to say that, well, you're about to receive the fruits of your labor. That's what it feels like. Um, and, it, <laughs> and it's so funny. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I was talking about a cornucopia like yesterday because I was thinking about like Thanksgiving and all that. So look, that's what I feel like you're about to have a lot to be thankful for um cancer coming out first okay and look so angel of balance is here at the bottom of the deck i'm telling you it's like so much is coming in for you that it's going to like um so if you're feeling out of whack or whatever cancer it's like things are being um restored in your life here okay but let's see what else we got for cancer for august august 2021 Oh, yeah. So, look, Angel of Strength came out, y'all. So, this definitely gives me the Leo vibes. The Leo vibes, Leo energy. I'm telling you, Leo season is going to be lit for Cancers as well, y'all. Um, But the Angel of Strength, yeah, look, I feel like to Cancer with this Angel of Strength, this is your self-love coming out. This is um all those obstacles that you've been determined to not let stop you. Um, you know, you found a new strength, you found a new stride and you know, sometimes you don't, you don't know how strong you are until you have to be that strong. That's kind of what it feels like has happened, but you're on the other side now, Cancer. Let's see. Give me, let's pull one more for Cancer for August 2021. Yeah, look, Cancer. So we got adjacent possibilities. I knew that this was going to come out too. Because I feel like Cancer, um, like, one door may have closed, but you have so many opportunities, so many open doors that it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. There are so many other possibilities um, and opportunities waiting for you in August. That's what I feel like um, is here. Like, yeah, when one door closes, because it's the only door closed here. It's like one door is closed, but look at all these other avenues that you can still, like, 
things are happening for you, Cancer. That's all I'm saying, okay? Things are happening in August. And I don't know. See, look, manifestation here at the bottom of the deck. I don't know about y'all, the number eight. <laughs> eight is my favorite number and august has always been like a great month for me i don't know i always have high hopes about august it kind of feels like a reset um i will be doing the uh lion's gate portal i'll be pulling some cards on that to see you know what kind of energy because i'm sure that has something to do with august as well but y'all it just feels really good like the energy feels really good in august i always feel like um I'm kind of testing the theory and hopefully I'm not jinxing myself, but I always feel like I have a little bit of money in August, y'all. I always, I always, any relationship that I have, um, like seriously started, like my anniversary date has been in August. So August has always been a good month for me and I hope that it's going to be the same for cancers. Um, that, I mean, that's the energy that I'm feeling. So, but let's clarify and see what's going on here. Um, clarify cornucopia here for cancer. Clarify cornucopia for cancer. Oop. Clarify cornucopia here for cancer. So look, and that's funny. We got nature that came out. We got nature that came out and it's kind of like, you know, fruits of your labor here. Like it's giving me the vibe of nature here, like outside. But I feel like this nature is popping up because, um, it feels like you're getting like your birthright like this is going to be natural um this these blessings here this feast that's set in front of you cancer it's um like it's natural it feels natural that's what it feels like and see yeah look rebirth here at the bottom of the deck that's what it feels like especially with this angel of strength cancer it's like you you know hey come into this new life you're a new cancer a new person here Clarify angel of strength for cancer. Oop, something popped over. So look, y'all, yeah, um, synchronicity popped over here. Synchronicity. So I feel like, look, two, um, it's like everything is lining up for you. That's what it feels like, cancer. It's like all of the events are lining up. Everything that happened is all lining up for you. It's like your time, the time it is. Um, you know how we've been talking about divine timing. It's like, um, you know, it's it's syncing up for you with the synchronicities. Also pay attention to the synchronicities because I feel like there are messages, um, like your angels may be trying to speak to you. So definitely do pay attention if you're like seeing um, synchronicities are like repeating numbers. Like I had said, pay attention to how you feel, what you're thinking about, um, what's going on around you, your environment. <clears throat> and you also might want to get outside to like get some sun. I don't know y'all. I'm in Georgia. Um, and I'm a Georgia girl. Like I'm from Georgia, <laughs> but, um, being back, it's hot y'all. So I don't know. I ain't gonna tell nobody to go outside. <laughs> Because it's hot in North Carolina, too. But I don't know. I guess I done got, like, spoiled in North Carolina. Because I'm back in Georgia and about to die, y'all. <laughs> um, but, anywho. <laughs> Clarify adjacent possibilities here. And, look, this self-love tried to pop out. And I feel like that's with this um, angel of strength. Like, Cancer, you are, are um, A plus for self-love i feel like that's where your energy is directed and that's what matters because cancer you do have love to give and it's great to give it to somebody else but that love that you that you give to everyone else you deserve it as well okay so clarify adjacent possibilities Ooh, <laughs> clarify adjacent possibilities here for cancer So, wow, we got pride that came out. And you know what? Because, look, patience is here at the bottom of the deck and personal growth. So, let me tell you about these adjacent possibilities. <laughs> because somebody, what this is or what it feels like, somebody is trying or wanting something to be a certain way. Somebody is attached to an outcome or a certain circumstance. 
um like you might even pride yourself on that but you're needing to be open to different possibilities this month be open to different um and you know with this adjacent possibilities y'all i'm actually going to read y'all a message in the book because i don't know i'm feeling called to so yeah um the adjacent possibilities is many unconsidered options it says sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand that's that pride don't let your pride get in the way of something new and better here okay um it says yet yeah, every moment gives you the option to open a different door and take a different course whether it's in your thoughts behaviors or major life decisions Unlike the indecision card, which indicates confusion and facilitation about which course to take, the adjacent possibilities card is here to tell you that you have many options and it's time to take a wider look um, at things. I'm sorry if y'all hear that music. I don't know who getting down outside, but whatever. Um, as you consider the many life choices available, you'll feel more and more empowered and motivated to make the decisions that bring happiness, strength, forward and forward motion in terms of your goals this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas perhaps there's a marketing tool you haven't thought of a connection you haven't tapped or even an entirely different direction that would be more suited for you um so be conscious be aware and be flexible and willing to take new and different action now so yeah cancer it's like don't let your pride get in the way <clears throat> of something new and better and beneficial here that's what it feels like um do not do not let um and don't let pride stand in the way of ending something that's not serving you too that's what i just got um and so yeah we're talking about you cancer with the queen of cups energy we're talking we, we talking about cancer <laughs> all right but let's put a little tarot on the table y'all and see clarify cornucopia for cancer Oops. clarify cornucopia for cancer Clarify cornucopia here for cancer. So look, y'all, the king of um the king of pentacles came out. I'm telling you, your money looking good, cancer, if nothing else. Um, so but the king of pentacles it says compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security, and prosperity. You have the Midas touch, Cancer, okay? Everything turns out beautifully. A supportive parent and spouse, a good person to work for. So, yeah, Cancer. Um, look, and we got the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you, look, your hands are about to be full. This is so on point with the weekly reading. It's like so many good things are about to happen for you, Cancer. So many good things. Um, it says too much going on. Um, stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask or business travel. But yeah, cancer, I'm telling you, whatever it is, it's like so many opportunities, so many abundant and prosperous opportunities are coming towards you. I'm telling you, it's, you're going to feel a little more, um, financially secure this month. I can, I can tell you that. That's what it feels like. And y'all, and, um, the cards are green, so I'm seeing money. Like, the cards are green. I'm seeing money, money. Okay, Cancer? <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, let's get one more. Clarify cornucopia for Cancer. <clears throat> um, yeah, no. <laughs> um, clarify cornucopia for Cancer. Clarify cornucopia for cancer. See, look, two cancer. Okay, so the six, <laughs> both of them tried to come out, so I'm going to take it. Um, the six of wands and the six of pentacles. So I'm definitely, look, you're about to experience major victories. We got two sixes, so you, um, look, the synchronicity is popping up. Um, the six of pentacles, though, you're about to um, be so fa financially secure, Cancer, that you're able to help others and be charitable. Um, it says the good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow, inflow of abundance, 
borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So yeah, um, and it does feel like this could be kind of unexpected because it feels like you could have been waiting for your due. But like you haven't gotten so yet. Um, so yeah, it feels like um, it's coming in unexpectedly for you, like out of nowhere. But then, so we got the Six of Wands. It says, um, victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarships. So, yeah, Cancer, it's like, it's the, it's the season of level up. So, it's like new job, new car, new house. Like, that's what I'm feeling. It's it, like you're about to be a winner in so many areas, Cancer. Okay. Let's see. And we got the two of cups here at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like for some of you, there is a romantic partner or a partnership, whether it be business or romantic, but there's a partnership that is going to be very valuable to you um, this month. So clarify angel of strength here for cancer. Oop. Clarify angel of strength for cancer. So look, Cancer, so we got the um the Empress that came out. And I feel like Cancer, this is your energy, like you're coming off, you're giving off Empress vibes this um lately. <laughs> Cause everybody like wants a piece of cancer. They see you like somebody may even wanna uh, like make you their wife, they baby mama, baby's mother. Um, and I don't I mean that in the most endearing way, but <laughs> um the Empress it says time to take action give birth to your dreams creative projects will be very successful abundance and prosperity like abundance is coming up for you cancer um and i feel like i feel like their like synchronicities are going to give you like ideas about this creative endeavor moving forward um clarify and look yeah cancer somebody with this angel of strength too somebody has overcome some difficult something difficult um you could have just been feeling maybe like depressed um you could even still be in this energy but i feel you overcoming it here that's that's the strength clarify angel of strength Clarify Angel of Strength. Like, man, it's so much abundance around you, though, Cancer. Like, it's sick, and man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on, y'all. Y'all like, okay, we trying to look at it. The Ace of Pentacles, y'all. And the Aces keep coming up for you. So, this is definitely, look, it feels like new abundant opportunities for you, Cancer. A windfall of abundance. Wise counsel or good fortune. An exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or vehicle. Like I said, I told you, it feels like that season. New house, who this, new car, who this, like that's what it feels like. Um, and it's time to take action. I feel like the synchronicities are going to um, be the indication to let you know. Let's see. And also, too, Cancer, um... You may want to incorporate meditation more if you haven't been already. So let's see. Clarify adjacent possibilities. Be open to them too, Cancer. Adjacent possibilities. Clarify adjacent possibilities for Cancer. So we got justice that came out and it says be impartial and objective, stand up for what you believe, try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if, you're, if your position is one of integrity. So yeah, um, Cancer, don't let your pride stand in the way because as long as you keep your pride, that ego in check, you, you're a winner. Um, no matter what the situation is or who's around, whatever. But yeah, look, Cancer, you're about to have so much to celebrate. For some of you, I do see like a wedding, like a connection in a wedding here. <clears throat> Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and prosperity. Like, 
that's that's the theme for this month peace and prosperity for sure um peace and contentment in your personal life like it's looking good cancer give me one more for adjacent possibilities clarify adjacent possibilities for cancer Okay, all right. So, um, we got the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, I feel like you might be um, contemplating a, like a um, a career change, a business move, something. Look, whatever it is that you're passionate about, move forward towards doing that, um, following your dreams, Cancer, because you're about to be paid well for it, okay? It says, do what you love, okay? Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors. So whatever you're trying to create, put out there, yeah, because you are in this Empress energy, you're creating, you're birthing, giving doing something putting something out so whatever it is you're about to be paid well for it too um being paid well for your craft working well with others an excellent reputation so yeah it's like um just keep that pride in check cancer because you know um and i don't feel it in the negative sense like i mean because it, it could resonate like that for someone but i also feel like pride too because you can get too caught up on the wrong thing or you know paying attention to the wrong thing but yeah look y'all the star here at the bottom of the deck so yeah have faith that the future is bright because it is cancer your dreams come true positive changes that bring an end to challenging times it's the light at the end of the tunnel and see look it's like this light streaming in here for you cancer and then light at the end of the tunnel it's like, but all these doors opened up for you too. All these other opportunities as well. So, look. Anything else you got for Cancer for August? Yeah, Cancer. It's a time of transformation. So, we got the death card that popped out. It's a time of transformation. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made powerful and often unexpected revelations breaking free of procrastination mm -hmm, releasing old belief um, systems so if you were like me in july <laughs> and kind of the old stagnant and you're procrastinating sitting on some ideas you know not taking action moving forward cancer now's the time august with this energy this is the time get ready because your life is transforming here um Clarify transformation for cancer. See, yeah, look, an abundance on top of it, y'all. Um, but perseverance came out. Perseverance. And I feel like that came up in your past reading, too. You, it's kind of like just keep this energy. Um, because I feel like your foundations may be changing. Okay? Especially with the number, with the perseverance card being the number four. I feel like if I, some some people's foundations may be like completely changing here. So, <clears throat> but it's like um, still push through. Even if you got this closed door, there are other op there are other options. Cancer, like you are full of options, <laughs> full of peace and prosperity. That's the um, that's the theme for the month. That's what it's feeling like. So, let's see. I'm gonna just pull a couple affirmation cards for the month. Um, give me one for cancer for this spread. Look at that. So royalty. Royalty. Um, acknowledge the royalty in your DNA courtesy of the divine and your ancestors. The blood that runs through your veins is made up of the same particles that create our universe. Hold your head up high and display your crown. I feel like this is tied to your strength, Cancer. Know that, look, you, you are that. You are that girl. You are that dude. Whoever, however it resonates, Cancer, okay? Just remember who you are. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there may be definitely a partnership here for you, though, this month. I'm surprised it didn't come out more than it did, but I do feel it, Cancer. Um, give me one more here for cancer. All right, 
so okay we got protected protected that came out um imagine being washed over by magical waters that cleanse and protect you set your intentions and move forward without fear if you are fully protected what can stop you that's right nothing so yeah cancer somebody was sitting down and fearing about moving forward taking action because for whatever reason but you made yourself believe it i definitely feel like that cancer but look you are magic you are a magical being there are so many possibilities um for you this month we got magic here at the bottom of the day and so the little magic eight ball i don't know if y'all can tell but it says you hold the power you have the power um it says you are a magical being with the ability to create your own reality this involves stepping into your power and believing in your own abilities when armed with this confidence you'll create a um create and be a living example by magic so yeah that's a part of this strength too y'all it's like you're stepping into your full power like intuition on point cancer like everything like you are stepping into who cancer is supposed to be this month and that's that's the magic that's the beauty and you're being rewarded for it too because cornucopia came out y'all first i love it um but i'm gonna leave the reading right there i really do hope that it re resonated with someone remember to like share and subscribe to the channel you guys giving the video a thumbs up is a totally free and dope way to show me and the channel support and love so i appreciate it in advance in the meantime in between time until next time. I love you.